Plus sets the pace with the latest in computer and fitness technology. It was the 80s. Fitness was the trend. New electronic technologies were becoming more and more a part of everyday life. Our CEO at the time, Armin Dossler, he was the son of founder Rudy Dossler, he knew that advanced science and technology would one day make a big difference in the sports industry. His idea was to bring the research that was being done at Puma directly to runners. He thought the best way to do that was to link a Puma shoe to a computer, and he knew exactly who could do that. Armin really motivated me and said, look, you've got all this science and it's out there in the lab. Why don't you put your thinking cap on and let's see if we can link one of our shoes to a computer. At the time, we had an industry guru on staff, Dr. Peter Kavanaugh, and he ran the Puma Running Studio. That's the place where sport research was used to create better running shoes and actually better runners. When you'd go for a run, you would come back and you would plug the shoe into your computer. It would download the information, compare it with your calibration data, and log it into your personal tracking history. This is the very first prototype we made. We just put a little plexiglass box on the back of this, and all the electronics, it was directly wired in there. They were integrated circuits. There's a little LED on the back. The software for the shoe was uh, contained on a floppy disk, so users could take the program off this disk and load it on their computer. We tested this out, and it seemed to work extremely well. At the time, it was a technology that nobody thought they needed. The reaction to the shoe was, why on earth would you want something that tells you how far you've run, how fast you've run, how long you've been exercising? Why would you want to do this? All of these people now are facing uh, millions of people who are obsessed with how far, how fast, how many calories. For me, it was my first inkling that some form of body mounting sensors was the future for tracking people's running mechanics. A lot has changed since the invention of the RS computer shoe. We were very proud of our technology. We, we boasted, for example, that the shoe was going to have a gate array with 600 transistors on a square inch. Well, it turns out that there are two billion transistors in an iPhone. We were using an Apple IIe computer with 68K of RAM. My MacBook has got 20,000 times more storage than that. Still, it was a revolution that we think should not be forgotten. So we decided to reissue it. Well, the original shoe could connect to a Commodore 64 or an Apple IIe with a cable. We traded out the cable connection for Bluetooth, optimized the circuit board, we added a more powerful battery, and then we created a smartphone app to process the data. But we made sure to keep the look of the 80s. And we added an 8-bit game, looks like it came right out of the 80s. So it's not just about performance anymore, it's also about fun.